Hey everyone, it's Simone Watson, and today is day five of the reading quest. It's hard to believe that that much time has gone by already. So I thought I would talk about talk a little bit about where I am at. Um, yeah, so I told you guys I started the book We Own the Night by Ashley Poston on Monday, and then by Monday night I was like, man, I'm ready to be done with this book. I'm not really feeling it. I really want to read something heavier, kind of darker. Um, and then uh, Tuesday. Tuesday, I went to the library, got Allegedly, and I started Allegedly, so I was reading both of those at the same time. Yesterday, I did not read any of Allegedly. I only read We Own the Night, and let me tell you something, guys. I have been liking We Own the Night more and more. I've been enjoying it more and more. It has gotten really good, so I am excited for the rest of it. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of try and keep the like two books at a time thing going because that way if I feel like taking a break from one book, I can switch to the other one and then I can switch back to that one, etc. Um, so that's kind of my tentative plan for right now with the rest of the reading quest. Um, I am, am I two thirds? Yeah, I'm like two thirds of the way through We Own the Night. And I'm confident that I can finish it today. So my plan today is to finish We Own the Night and then pick up either The Kite Runner or Sunset Empire. Because those are two other ones of my books on the Rogue plan, which is the character that I've picked to do first. So yeah, finish, finish We Own the Night, get started on either The Kite Runner or Sunset Empire. I'm feeling like it's going to be The Kite Runner. I feel like I'm I would rather read The Kite Runner today. So I'm going to start a little bit of The Kite Runner and maybe make some progress in Allegedly. And that way, those will be my two books at that time, The Kite Runner and Allegedly. And um, yeah, after that, move on to Sunset Empire and to my last uh, rogue book, which is the, the Obscured Face Challenge book, which is The Boy in the Black Suit. That's what the book's called, The Boy in the Black Suit. I almost forgot. Um, so yeah. Once I'm done with those five, I will be done with the rogue path. And I just decided last night that the next character I'm going to tackle on the reading quest thing, the, you know, the reading quest board, the next character I'm going to tackle uh, or, you know, to try to be or et cetera, is the knight, which is funny because the knight and the rogue do not intersect. They're parallel. Whereas which with some of them, you have like one book that counts for both at the corner. Does this even make sense? I think it does. These don't share a corner because they're at the top and at the bottom. But I have just found that four of my books from the library that are not on my rogue path fit the night path. So it's like, hey, I, I should go with the night path um, next. So um, I'm pretty excited for this. And I will tell you pretty soon what those four books are. Maybe I'll tell you on Monday. Ooh but I'll probably be started on them by Monday. So I'll just tell you right now. Okay, sure. I'll just tell you right now. <laughs> okay, so um, you guys remember, I told you about the five rogue challenges and what books I was, uh, I pretty much have cemented like what books I'm going with for those. So once I'm done with those five, uh, We Own the Night, Sunset Empire, allegedly The Boy in the Black Suit, and The, the Kite Runner. Um, once I'm done with those five, I will go with the five challenges for the knight, um, who, again, is another character on the game board. The knight's five challenges are read the first book in a series, read a book with red on the cover, read a book with a weapon on the cover, read a book with a verb in the title, and read a book with a TV or movie adaptation. Now, the TV or movie adaptation is on a corner, which means it counts for the knight and it counts for the character over here who I think is the bard. Um, and so that actually is one that I don't have unless I think of one in my house that I haven't read. Cause you can't do like a reread. I don't think, I don't think you can do a reread for this. So um, that's the one of the knight challenges that I don't have and, I, and I'm going to have to wait until I go to the library again. But that's okay, because until then, I have plenty of books to occupy my time. So for these other four, this is so funny. I have the first book in a series, Passenger by Alexandra Bracken. And I probably did mention saving this book for that challenge. So that's going to be um, one of my night books, okay? I have a book with red on the cover. 
Forgive Me Leonard Peacock by Matthew Quick. It just occurred to me, this one also has a, a verb in the title. So I could move this around to that one. But for now, I'm saying this is my red cover book. Forgive Me Leonard, Pe Leonard Peacock by Matthew Quick. Um, and this one is so funny. I didn't know you guys, but I told you I had this graphic novel, right? I didn't realize until last night, this has a weapon on the cover. If you can see, this character is holding a gun. I am totally showing you it backwards, aren't I? No, 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 this is the way the cover goes. So yes, this has a weapon on the cover. This will be my book with the weapon in the cover for that challenge. And a book with a verb in the title, What You Left Behind by Samantha Hayes. So yes, this will be my verb in the title. Now, if I decide to change and use this for my verb in the title, then I'll be able to use Lola for my red cover book because um, Lola is one that I also really want to read. Um, and that's fine, you know, either way is fine. But um, some other library books are going to count for side challenges. I think I'm going to read Persepolis 2 as my graphic novel, which is a side challenge. And I'm going to read, uh, oh, All American Boys by Brendan Keeley and Jason Reynolds. That's going to be my uh, potions side challenge, which is a book with more than one author. And finally, Butterfly, um, which I showed you guys, I forgot, uh, Samantha Hartnett, I think that's the name of the author. That's going to be my uh, animal companion challenge, which is a book that references an animal in the title. So um, yes, I will probably update you guys on Monday or sooner if I just really, really want to update you guys. But uh, yeah, I will um, talk to you soon about what's going on with this challenge. And thank you so much for watching. Bye.